is a makeup tutorial using the Lorac Pro Palette. My grandma got this for me for Christmas. Thanks, Nana. And it is $50, and I decided to get this rather than the Naked Palette because I found that this kind of reminded me of the Naked 1 Palette and this kind of reminded me of the Naked 2 Palette. So why not just combine them and spend $50 and get kind of both? So I bought the Lorac, well I got the Lorac Pro Palette, I asked for it for Christmas and I'm so thankful that I got it. Um, and I've been really enjoying this look and so I thought I would share it with you guys. I already have my um, foundation on, I just use Origins and then I set it with Bare Minerals. And so yeah, that's kind of my face and then I just put bronzer kind of like right here in my cheeks with some blush. But for the makeup, let's just get going. Okie dokie. The first thing I like to do is start off with a Smashbox, the photo finish. It's a foundation primer, but it was like a little sample thing that came with... Did that come with that? No, it came with something else. But it, it came with something that I bought and so I've just been using that as my eyeshadow primer. And I pretty much just put it all over my lid and it helps keep the eyeshadow on all day as well as your eyeliner. I know that some girls have a lot of problem with their eyeliner coming off or um, like like sticking right here in the crease and that's always just a pain in the butt. Um, so I just like to prime my eyes first and then I am going to start with Taupe which is this one right here. And I just grab one of, it's like a semi-blending brush. It's not super, uh, it's not super fluffy, but I just start with that and swivel it around. And then put it in the crease. I'm going to be looking over here because that's where my mirror is. But yeah, I just kind of put it in the crease right there. And then on the other side just to get some color starting. If I'm in a super rush, I think that this color is beautiful and I'll just throw on some eyeliner right after doing this. Um, but I just continue going until my OCD ritual is over on continuously going over it with nothing on the brush. After that, I grab a more flat brush. Mine kind of looks like this. It's just a tad bit fluffy, but it's more flat than the blending brush. And I grab from Light Bronze, which is in this lower region, and just tap on to my lid, focusing more on the uh, side that is closest to my nose. But I just tap into the lid, add some shimmer. Um, after that, I go to the Sable one, which is right here. It's right next to Espresso. I know I say that like a silly person. I just can't get Espresso to come out like naturally. So you're just going to have to deal. <clears throat> yeah, so I grab Sable. And this I grab an actual super flush, fluffy brush. And I just swivel it around again. And then on the outer corner of my eye, I'm just going to brush that in like so. And then you do the other eye. And you just kind of blend it around until there's nothing left on the brush. Like so. And then I'm going to grab this other blending brush from Nordstrom. It has somewhat of a curve. You can also use one of the more like condensed brushes. They're called crease brushes. I don't know where I put mine, but um, you can also use that. But I'm just going to dip this into the espresso color, which is right next to black. And I'm going to concentrate that like right here on my lid. And I like to just do both eyes before blending it because there's a lot on the brush. And then I'm going to go back to this fluffy one and blend it out into the crease like this. And then the other side. There's a bit more on my right side so I'm going to just add a little over here and continue blending until you reach your desired tone 
And then once that's over, I'm going to go back to Sable, which is, oh no, I'm actually going to go back to Taup, which is what we used in the beginning. And I'm going to use the brush that we used in the beginning as well. And I'm just going to go back and kind of outline this outer region just a tad bit more. And then underneath, I'm actually going to use, this is like a concealer brush, but I like how thin the tip of it is. And so I'm going to go back and grab Sable right on that tip and put it underneath just to blend it with the lower region of my eye. I like to just tap a little bit of this cream color right underneath my brow just to give a little bit of a highlight. Which if you're a guy and you're watching this, you have like no idea what I'm talking about. I tried to show one of my guy friends makeup and he was like, what is a smoky eye? Like, what are you talking about? It's total girl lingo. And then that's kind of just the eyeshadow. I have been doing this every day pretty much and I really enjoy it. Um, and then I just throw on some eyeliner. Right now I'm using the Artistry Signature Eyes Collection. This is really hard to do without being close to the mirror. I like to be like directly next to it when I do my eyeliner. But, less. So I just throw on some eyeliner. Sometimes I will try and do a little wing. I'm not super good at the dramatic wing. All depends on the day. Throw on my eyeliner. And then my favorite mascara, which is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. And just Whizzle that on to my eyelashes. And there you have it. That is the eye makeup that I've been doing with my Lorac Pro Palette. Um, I pretty much just use that and then I will do my hair. This is my hair out of the shower and so I usually just add a little bit more curls to it. I'll throw on a little bit of lip gloss. This is the NYX Soft Matte um, in And Twerp. That's an interesting name. Is that right? Yeah, And Twerp. Interesting. Okay, and I just throw on some lips. And there you have it. That is the kind of my daily look. I hope that you find that this look is great for your everyday look as well. It's one of my personal favorites. And so thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.